Jonathan Burnside students, coats off, bags off, please come in for registration and you come please. Seven out of ten last time, you get eight this time. So we're working on those constant improvements. And that, boys and girls, has been phenomenal. If I coordinate the literacy side of things with the Shine School on Saturdays. We do things like spellings, writing to persuade, advise, diary writing, working as journalists, lots of different uh, aspects of the curriculum that come into the Saturday School that are almost hidden. In spelling, we sit down at a table in our group and my job as a mentor is to um, correct their spellings if they get them wrong and tell them what to practice on. Quadrilateral, it's a four-sided shape. Okay, break it down in your heads. Concentrate, break it down in your head. Uh, it's not just about learning the spellings and learning to persuade and learning to write in these formats, it's about building their confidence. And we work very hard to make sure that on Saturdays they come in to an academic subject and actually enjoy it like it's a Saturday experience, not just a classroom. And that's what it's all about. Good morning, Mr. Scott and Ms. Rodman. We are going to talk about why children should not be playing games over age. It also may give you permanent stress, which will cause you not to concentrate in class. Do you really want to put your child in the risk of dying or something? Ratings are important. This is because people can get influenced to make bad decisions. And for example, a guy that was just four or five, he died by just um, playing a video game that was, I think, nine rated. Good morning, Mr. Scott and Ms. Fernandez. We are here on the contrary to speak about the influence of video games. Video games give you bad education because your children bring it into reality and it can make your children's education bad. Children all over the world get caught up in mistreating girls, killing, drugs and more also seeing cars. All this might be leading them to jail, murders and loss of education. Would you want that? They're always very excited when they come out. Um, always got lots and lots to say and show me and I'm always trying to feed me food <laughs> and things that they've made but yeah they seem to really enjoy the experience definitely um, keeps them upbeat as well and it starts their week on weekend off very very greatly as well so yeah it's a good thing it's a positive thing my favorite subject in shine is catering because I like cooking and when I make food for people I feel happy welcome everybody we are everyone's on and wash your hands please The Shine project we've been running, uh, we do a lot of uh, fruit preparation, a lot of cooking, and it's not just um, ordinary cookery, it is proper professional cookery that get taught in proper ways of cooking food. Um, it's a life skill, very important that they learn a life skill, so it's uh, something that uh, they're very keen on doing. Also, they learn how to prepare food properly, so they use proper chef's knives, they're aware of temperatures, health, safety and hygiene, all things that go along with that. Does anyone know what kind of cake you It's called short crust. Right, carry on a little bit more until it looks like this, which I'd say is about perfect. They have to work under time constraints, under pressure, which is a good life skill as well. It's like being, you know, it gives them good um, grounding for work. It's something that the kids can do that gives them a great deal of satisfaction. It gives them a sense of, um, of really achieving something. Uh, 
um, I really like math because like when even when you do work, it makes like re relaxing. So you relax and you do your work. Wake up and smile, cause it's been a while. When somebody's struggling, um, we usually help them out and see what they need help in. Because usually I'll tell them the answer, but I'm trying to not tell them the answer so they figure it out by themselves. The numeracy I was teaching in Shine was um, very different um, from the normal classroom teaching. We were more hands-in and um, they were more involved with doing activities and learning maths in a fun and a very different way. Ms. Killich is a really nice teacher and like... Um, the best! She, the, all, the of best. The, all of the um, she, experiments yeah. are really cool. We try to enhance their learning of science uh, within the curriculum. However, we do try to um, focus on larger projects, get, um, really get them involved with hands-on activities and then uh, because they have had that fun, they're then able to apply that knowledge and um, write, write up what they do know. Um, and by that, they are increasing their literacy skills. And I will do it for you. Nine stuff like sensory neurons in your veins, and yeah. Excellent, Maria. That's when one merit for you. What do you need to do first before you start burning the It's just improved my work, like in science during school. Because I got from five C to five B, meant to get five A. So, yeah. What does it mean when you win the dog? Like when you win the dog, it means that you did something like to help teachers. Good. And then it's, yeah, that or like you've written something and help someone, or you overcame a fear or something like that. Stick, stay behind, help to everybody. Diana, fantastic. Woo! Well done. Good girl. Teachers are proud of you, so then they give you the dog. And, and you get like home. a small dog as well. Yeah, to keep yeah. a mini one. one. It's actually a really good thing. My dog's yeah. Sam. Who's won the dog? Me. I've won, I've won the, I've won the dog. The dog was called one. Charlie, sir. Shine gave a presentation to the local head teachers in Haringey and they said that they wanted local schools to put together a bid to run a Saturday school. The children that we selected um, needed a little bit more help in their reading. We did an initial reading test um, and we thought that by coming in on a Saturday they would benefit from having small classes, we'd make learning fun and I think if they didn't come to Shine, they wouldn't have the opportunities to improve their studies. They wouldn't necessarily financially be able to afford to have extra classes. And we have a lot of staff here with a lot of skills, and we make it really like a family learning centre. What activities? Video, like abseiling, zip lining, dance dance swing, dance swing. Dance swing. Dance swing. I'm a 5C. I'm a 5B. I'm a 5B. I'm a 5C. 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 I'm a